Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Sunday, February 25th. Today on Forbes, green hydrogen could help save the planet. This startup wants to make it cheap. In the arsenal of solutions to curb carbon emissions that are cooking the planet and warping weather patterns, none holds more promise than energy-rich green hydrogen, made from just water and electricity. But it's much costlier than the fossil fuel-generated variety that accounts for nearly all of a global hydrogen market worth more than $120 billion. Rafi Garabedian and David Eaglesham, who spent years working to make large-scale solar power affordable for utilities, see a massive opportunity to do the same with green hydrogen. If they're right, Electric Hydrogen, a startup they launched in 2021, could be profitable within a few years. More importantly, it could help attain an audacious goal cleaning up dirty industries that make things like ammonia, chemicals, petroleum products, and steel. They want to build behemoth green fuel refineries near plants that use it, powered with renewable energy. CEO Garabedian told Forbes that it's green hydrogen for, quote, industrial decarbonization. To do that, you have to have a really cheap hydrogen-generating electrolyzer, and you have to have cheap renewables. And if you're not grid-tied, Renewables in the right place are dirt cheap. Making lots of stuff is also essential. So CTO David Eaglesham, who founded the company, designed a system the size of a small factory with lower cost electrolyzers that turn out up to 45 tons of green hydrogen a day, the energy equivalent of 45,000 gallons of gasoline. Electric Hydrogen plans to build them near industrial plants that use lots of the elemental fuel and, eventually, produce it for the same cost as dirty, so-called gray hydrogen, made from natural gas, that produces lots of CO2. The cost is as little as $1.50 a kilogram. Founded just three years ago, Electric Hydrogen is based in Natick, Massachusetts. The company has raised more than $600 million from investors including Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Ventures, Energy Impact Partners, BP Ventures, Amazon, and Honeywell. Eaglesham developed the idea for electric hydrogen while he was entrepreneur in residence at Breakthrough. The company has a 10 megawatt facility in San Jose, California, that produces up to 4.5 tons of hydrogen a day, the energy equivalent of the gasoline an American driver uses over a decade. Electric Hydrogen intends to deliver its first commercial system late this year that's 10 times larger. Getting companies to swap fossil fuel-derived hydrogen for the green variety is a no-brainer for the climate. Industrial applications account for nearly a quarter of U.S. CO2 emissions. Garabedian and Eaglesham think they're close to cracking the code for affordable green hydrogen, potentially a highly lucrative undertaking. Goldman Sachs estimates the global hydrogen market's value may double to $250 billion by 2030, driven by the arrival of green hydrogen. The U.S. uses at least 10 million metric tons of hydrogen a year, virtually all made by steaming it out of natural gas. It's a highly carbon-intensive process, generating at least 8 kilograms of CO2 for every kilogram of hydrogen produced, according to energy researcher RMI. Doug Vine, director of energy analysis at the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, an environmental policy think tank, said that shifting to greener forms, quote, would be impactful and is a priority. For full coverage, check out Alan Onsman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.